The X570 chipset is unacceptably hot. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. Today I'm gonna be trying to solve the X570 chipset heat problem. So essentially what's happening is when I'm using my streaming PC, which is the 3950X, over a prolonged period of time, the, the chipset temperature gets so hot, like it goes up to like 75, which doesn't actually make any sense because streaming doesn't utilize the I.O. at all. But for some reason, when you stress test the actual CPU, it loads the chipset for, for some reason. I don't know why, but it just does. So when I'm streaming oh, for two, three hours or whatever, my games, um, my capture card will get so hot that it'll actually start flickering. And I'm not sure if it's just a problem with the uh, X570 Tai Chi or not, but when, when, that, when those temperatures get to 75, it starts really messing up a lot of things. It's actually messed up my RAM overclocked. It's messed up my video card overclocks and it's messed up my uh, my capture card. Just there's so much heat resonating from that chipset and just like spreading itself around to the rest of the motherboard. Like it's insanity. If you have your GPU on zero RPM fan mode and you just let the computer sit for a while, it'll like the, the GPU will start idling at like 60C because it... It, the, the heat's getting sucked into it from the PCI Express slot. What I actually had to end up doing was I had to put my capture card on a PCI Express riser cable to get it away from the heat just to solve the problem temporarily. Like, it is bad shit. I also live in a really hot climate and it's summer right now, so this probably wouldn't be a problem in 10 months out of the year. But right now, if, like, right now, as I'm streaming during the summertime, it's it's a big issue for me. And like, like had I have known that that was a problem with X570, I would have just gone B550 because I don't really care about the chips at PCI Express four lanes. It's nice to have, but it's not worth all this dicking around with all this heat. So today's project, I have. It's an really old heat killer um, chipset water block. And I used to have this on my very old X79 um, 1680v2, like like old DDR3, like the, 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 the eight core um, Ivy Bridge CPU. I used to have this on the chipset, even though I did totally didn't need it. It just came with the VRM kit, so I just had it. And then after I got rid of my X79, um, like, setup, I never, I never threw this away because w why throw it away, right? And, and look, look how maybe, like, like, five years later, I'm gonna be trying to use this on an X570 chipset. It all, it all comes full circle, man. It's, it's really funny. So I have no idea if this is gonna fit. Um, I'm gonna make it fit. And I don't want to deal with any chipset temperature problems ever again. So I'm going to bring the computer down here and show you what my plan is. Alright, so this is the computer I'm going to be working with here. Um, check this out. Let me move this in a little bit closer. So this is a 3950X. Uh, Delit it in there. Just a water pump, a reservoir, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I guess... I would have to take this whole shielding part off and the the chipset like water block would kind of go right here in between the CPU block and the pump. Um, I'll probably have to cut this all out. Uh, I'm still gonna make it look nice, but uh, it's not gonna be like OEM anymore by any means, but I mean, I don't really care about resale value of my stuff. I always just go ham. So I'm going to, I guess I'll have to take the motherboard out for this. Unfortunately, that kind of sucks, but yeah, I'm going to have to. All right. I got to take the motherboard out and drain all the fluid and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's probably going to 
look something like this. This is how it's going to go. It'll still look really nice. The only thing I really care about keeping is this gear here. That's the whole, like, Tai Chi look I want to keep. But, um, yeah, this should work well if I can mount this properly here. All right, I'm going to take the motherboard out, and I'll be back. All right, I got the board here. Uh, got it out. Yeah, I think it's going to have to go like this. I think it will actually fit and look pretty nice. Let's, um, yeah, it's, I think it'll work. Let's see what happens. I got to take this whole thing apart now and the back plate and everything. And I think I'm going to have to cut these uh, vents out with a Dremel of some sort. And I'm going to make it, try and make it look nice. And then I will be back when I have some things cut out here. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to work. The uh, the chip set is actually like down here. So like, like I would like, this is kind of messed up. I, I don't like how ASRock um, designed this, but I would have to cut out the, the gear in order for the water block to go there. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. That defeats the whole purpose. But the water block holes do line up. So, I'm just going to throw it back together without the um, the front cover here. Just because I'm curious to see if that fixes my temperature problems. I don't really care too much about the, the front plate. If I have a vertical mounted GPU, it covers it anyway. But um, yeah, let's give it a shot. I mean, worst case scenario, I just put it all back together anyway. Alright, here we go. Uh... The screw holes did line up. It's not it's not perfectly centered. It was made for a different motherboard, but I mean, who cares? Um and I lost my uh I lost my IO shield here or my um uh, my front plate shield. But I mean, it's not my main rig, so I don't really care too much what it looks like. It's my streaming rig. Um I just want to see if this is viable. And to be honest, if this does work, I might just sell the X570 Tai Chi and get a board that has a uh, that has a chipset water block. Just because I don't want to deal with this heat, man. I, I like I, I I'm compromising too much for this AMD build, like left, right, and center. I just want something that works. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's go do some temperature testing on this, and I'll be back. Okay, so. That took a little longer than I thought it would, but here is the monstrosity that I have put together for this test. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't really need to say much more than this. This is the block. This, I ran out of, like, clamps and shit. It's just a, it's a total gong show, and I lost all my, uh my IO cover and all that crap, but let's go test and see if this thing works. I think it'll work fine. I don't see any problems, but uh, yeah, let's go test this out uh, and I'll be back. So the results, it works fantastic. It doesn't go above 36 now. Um, oh man, I don't even know what to say about this whole AMD build anymore. Before, after about an hour of stress testing, chipset went up to about 75, baked all my SSDs, uh, my NVMEs, baked those, baked my capture card, baked my video card, just bakes all, just bakes everything. After one hour of stress testing with the chipset water block, it went up to about 41, um, which is sick. And... It, like, um, I, I didn't measure the temperature, but I just, you know, touch it with your hand. The entire PCB isn't even warm anymore. Like, it literally fixed everything. Like, oh my, oh man. So, like, if Ryzen 4000 comes out, I don't think I'm gonna be using this board just because I... Well, let's say Ryzen 4000 beats Intel and gaming, and I go and I switch to that. I don't think I'm going to be using this motherboard because I want my aesthetic and this this whole setup is just not 
aesthetically pleasing. On that note, the uh, the CPU actually went up about 3-4 degrees after an hour of stress testing compared to what it used to be. So, the extra heat from the chipset, it definitely is heating up the entire loop a little bit. Not much, only 3-4 like, only degrees, but it is measurable. It is there a little bit. So, you, would, you wouldn't even have to uh, add another radiator for that, though. I, I would just do it. It's fine. But, like, like... So I, I delitted my 3950X and I lowered the temperature and then I put a chipset water block on which then re, re increased my 3950X temperatures and then lowered my chipset temperatures like dude okay oh my god PCI Express 4.0 is great and all but what you hand it to Intel when nobody has to deal with any of this crap. You, it just works. Yeah, it, when, when Ryzen 4000 comes out, I, I think I'm going to leave this PC the way it is forever. Like, I'm never going to... I've, I've just sacrificed all these components as a dedicated streaming rig with some random-ass X79 water block for a chipset. Like, I, th I think this is just sacrifice now. Uh, or maybe I can use it as a test bench in the future. But um, when Ryzen 4000 comes out, I'm going to be getting a motherboard that has a uh, monoblock. Like, I 100%. I definitely want X570, and I definitely want PCI Express 4.0 top to bottom. I don't want to deal with, cr like, temperatures and a chipset baking my entire motherboard. Like, that is a joke. But if I can get a motherboard with a monoblock that just covers the whole thing and just keeps it nice and cool for me, I'm definitely going to go that route for my, like, personal gaming rig. But yeah, going into this whole AMD X570 adventure, uh, I, not expecting... I wasn't expecting this at all. I wasn't expecting a chipset temperature to bake a capture card so hard that it would flicker, you know what I mean? But yeah, it works fine. Um... Moral of the story is if you're using uh, an AMD PC as your, if you're using an X570 platform as your second streaming or rendering and coding uh, rig, um, you can use an X79 water block to lower the chipset temperatures. Maybe you can find an X79 water block somewhere. I don't know. It works fine though. Like, that's sick. If you're building a AMD gaming system, I I would say go with B550 from my again, it could just be the X570 Tai Chi that's a shit show. Um I don't know like how the but I'm pretty sure all X570 uses the same chipset, so I guess it depends how they routed their heat around, but I would go with B550 then probably. I mean just so you don't have to deal with this crap. Like, it literally increases your GPU temperatures just because the, the, the chipset gets so hot. You know what I mean? But yeah, I guess that's it. Project successful for this one. Uh, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, and do all that YouTube SEO stuff for me. Uh, hopefully today is the day I earned your subscription. And if you want to see more random content like this... Stick around for the next video, I guess. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Works fine, though. Works. It's fantastic. See you later.